Oh, check out the uh, new South OC Cosin coffee shirt. Black and red. Good color combo. So if you're looking for a really nice restore Volkswagen micro bus, there's a company uh, well down the OC that does it. They call Pacific Air Cool. And this is what they do. They, they restore these micro buses, uh, Volkswagen micro bus, and then they, they sell it. So, you know, saves you a lot of time and this is some of the current listing and looks like they range in price from $37,000 all the way to $66,000. So, uh, this particular one right here, which is $50,000. So, this is the one on display right now. So, yeah, fifty grand. let us take a look at it. All right. Hey. I'm not sure if these windshield wiper actually works properly, but yeah, it's a bus, all right. And here's another one. These would be cool, you know, like uh, if you want to be a super cool soccer mom, that's what that's what you drive. And here we have something that deserves to be double parked with a lot of people around it. It's some kind of Volvo. Yeah. Single exhaust, right out the back. <laughs> Fuel cap in the center. I see a full race frame. There's the engine, inline four with the turbo. I can see the I see the turbo in the bottom. The air intake. Pretty cool. Supercharged Camaro, Panamera Turbo, MC650, McLaren. It has the optional hood scoop, so this is an MSO650. And here, oh, the Postal 1. This is a rare sight. So before Postal made the EV to post our two, which is the white one parked next to it. This was the first uh, hybrid. So, and it's, uh, it didn't sell too well because, well, it was very, very expensive. Super expensive, actually. But uh, it does look cool. Yeah, uh, let's check out the electronics in the back there. And this is what it morphed into. So, this is the post star two, all electric. And oh, another post star one. Cool. Yeah. The post saw too. Post saw is one of the sponsors of Cars and Coffee, so uh, that's why they're here, showing off their their cars. And then we have Ferrari California F12. How you doing? Pretty good. All right, so this is uh, his car right here. So have you detuned it or put it back up to put the power back up? No, I still have it down right now. You still have it down? I've got still the, the small springs and the turbos. This used to make 1,300 horsepower, but uh, uh, Don thought it was a little too crazy, especially when it only weighs like 2,400 pounds. So could you imagine that? So he has since detuned it down to only 850 horsepower. So check out the interior with that really, really small micro shifter. Uh, so this was the engine. Like I said, it was making 1,300, but he has tuned it down to 850. Uh, a little more manageable now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can see he's uh, making good use of the power there. <laughs> ah, check it out. He did some updates. He has, since then, he has changed the seat. This used to be wood, but now it's covered in uh, leather. So. This is a work in progress, you know, like uh, Don has spent years making this car. So it's a labor of love, uh, you know, a lot of people just buy their car. But Don is a true car guy. He, he built his own cars. As you can see, uh, when you build your own car, you attract more attention than when you just simply buy it. <laughs> Ford GT with the uh, engine cover off. So you can see the supercharged motor. It looks totally stocked. Nothing's been modified as I can see actually. The exhaust. 
Yeah, it's a new custom exhaust. They got, there's no mufflers. So this thing must be pretty loud, basically. Right out the back, I see that. I see you maintain the catalytic converters and then should be mufflers here. It's now just pipes. Yeah. Uh, at least he was smart enough to heat, to heat wrap the heat wrap the pipe. Lamborghini Huracan. F430 Spider. Another F430 Spider in black. Ferrari four piece. Oh, Italia. Italia Speciale. V10 Audi R8. Nine nine one G nine one one turbo nine nine one turbo. Yeah. Another V ten Audi R eight, and over here we have a six fifty Spider nine nine two GT three. Superleggera DBS Austin Martin. I, I really like the grill, the pattern. Check out, there's a lot of intricate work in here. You see these little. There are different levels on the grill. That's, that is so cool. And the, the paint job on this thing is just immaculate. Wow. 992. Uh, GT4. 488. Uh, GT3. Uh, an Italia. An Italia Spider. And oh, look, a Diablo. Wow. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these in forever. Yeah. A Lamborghini Diablo. I, I mean, it's Italian for double. Oh, check out that interior with all the fancy Italian colors. Yeah. Handbrakes. <laughs> yeah, whoa, that engine. Wow. Yeah, that, that. That is so cool. Lamborghini Diablo. And it's a manual too. Yep, a Tributo. CT3 RS. LNC's Lamborghini Huracan with the body kit. And an Austin Martin Vanquish. Jaguar F-Type, my old car, <laughs> Porsche, oh, a 924. Did it come with that alarm system? 911, vintage, oh, no, vintage 911, nice Chevrolet. More Porsches. A Nissan on air rise with blue wheels and check out those lung nuts. <laughs> uh, an Audi on air rise and check out the lip on those wheels. Wow, that's insane. Classic Porsche 914. And what in the world is this thing? My word, it's smaller than a Porsche. Not one, but two air horns. Four. Four air horns. Oh, you're right. It's four air horns, yeah. Because, you know, if you're going to have... And then check out the uh, the lights there. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. The interior with a pretty steep recline on the seats. Wow. <laughs> this, is a, this is a Subaru, isn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, what year? 69. 69 Subaru. It is tiny. I love the suicide doors. Uh, it got and uh, the engines in the back, I suppose. So here's the engine here. Oh my word! So the tiny little intake. Yeah, air filter. My words. And power by the devil, I see. Yeah, when this thing is fully restored, it's going to look pretty cool. 
white C7 Z06 Corvette and white C7 Z01 Corvette. So this is the top of line, 750 horsepower. This is the uh, 650 horsepower version without the big wing, or but generally they're they're very similar, as you can see, a little more aggressive on the Z01 versus the Z06. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. This here is a project in the making right now. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, the air ride system is set up. Now it's just a matter of getting the body ready and prepping it and then repainting it and then restoring the interior and maybe adding windows. Wow, check out this uh, rebuilt. Yeah, rebuilt, I believe it's a Chevy Impala. But, whoa, check it out. Totally redone. Supercharged LS9 from a Corvette. Beautiful. I mean, check out that interior totally to restore uh, well I would say not restore we Re rebuilt rebuilt see when you restore a car you're putting it back in the original condition but when you do a rebuild like this guy you basically try to improve it so you're not trying to put it back in its original condition you're making it look different but still with a connection to yesteryear so wow I got the wheels on this this is beautifully done yeah, this would be my pick for call of the week right here. Wow. Awesome rebuild. Hmm. Anyone, anyone want to do some smart tipping? The Charger SRT will be Pro Charger Kit. Nice intake right there, and really no way to get cold air. Unlike this car, you see, you get all the cold air you want. It's a Dukes of Hazard Charger, complete with the uh, the Lando roof. Yeah, back then it was a it was a style cop can cover the roof in vinyl. <laughs> this is classic. Speaking of classic, check this out. M Power. <laughs> yeah, this must be Corvette Row. I see a whole bunch of Corvettes. C8 Corvettes. So these are the new C8 Corvettes. Uh, those wheels are aftermarket. Yeah, so this is where you store the top. No trunk for it. Check out that interior. Interesting, you might notice what a C8 Corvette. This rear view mirror here is actually a rear view camera. So that's the camera right there. And you can have a regular mirror, you can have a video view of the back. It looks like an old vintage suburban, yeah, big Chevy suburban SUV. But uh, the engine is, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Supercharged big V8. <laughs> Not sure how much power it's making, but definitely more than it was when it was brand new. That's pretty slam. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, wow, that's got quite the presence right there. That, right there, this picture is a, <laughs> El Camino with a, wow, a big block Chevy LS swap. Trans Am, and check this out. Pretty cool. Huh, a trio of new Ford Broncos. And it looks like they've already been accessorized. Yeah, accessorized with the red R. Nineteen sixty Corvette. I believe this is the C one generation, the original, the very first. 
So uh, there's the classic Chevy 350 with the full build carburetor and the, and the mechanical fan that's just attached right to the motor. <laughs> and here we have the owners. Yeah. Future owners. Cobra. So this is a replica because yeah, it'll be if you can find original, they're worth millions. But yeah, this 1965 Cobra replica right there. And so this one has it's more true to the original. You see the uh, the engine here. It's the, the carburetor, no fuel injection. So pretty much everything is mechanical. Whereas this one, it's basically the same thing. It's a Cobra body kit, but the uh, the engine, the owner decided to go with a modern Ford Mustang motor. So this is yeah with the V8 from Ford Mustang. So all the uh, modern mechanicals, so pretty much maintenance free and you get all the looks. Unusual sound coming off this javelin. Alright, Challenger convertible with the shaker hood. Yeah, uh, right there, the hole, that's part of the engine. And the reason it's called a shaker hood is because when engine is vibrating, this, this, this shakes. Hence the word shaker. <laughs> insane, insane. That's one of the biggest superchargers you can buy. With two four barrel carburetors, three inch belt, and a fuel tank that will basically last you a quarter mile. Oh, look who it is. There she is. Nothing separates a man from his Corvette and this dog. Now that's a sound. Wow, an RS8. Haven't seen one of these things in forever. So it's got the... Uh, <laughs> the rotary engine that's basically mounted behind the front wheel. So uh, it's really a front mid engine. McLaren 720S and oh, a 458 Italia Racer. Yeah, so this is the, a challenge special. It's not really street legal, but you know, I guess this guy made it so. And yeah, this is what it's based on right here. This is the Italia. And this is the uh, Italia Racer. GT3. Another Italia. 488. Acura NSX. California. And a Lamborghini Huracan with HRE wheels. And the uh, motorcycle has invaded. Wow. Okay, so this is South OC Calls and Coffee. Happens every Saturday from uh, 9 a.m. to 11. If you're in the area, you're a car enfusiast, this is where you should be. Sean Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.